This is my first time here. I was actually invited back in 2008, and literally the day of my flight when I was coming, um, we were at the doctor's office because my wife had thrown her back out, and the doctor said, dude, you're not going anywhere. Your wife's going to be laid up, and not in a good way. flying here and say, I can't come. And they were like, they were, they were very kind about it. They were very nice. They were disappointed, but they were very nice. So I'm thrilled to be here. And I love your beautiful city. I love you all. And um, welcome to my panel. I'm just, I'm, I'm honored and humbled that you all are here. So um, it's kind of just a QA. and a uh, We're working on getting a DVD player because I want to show you all some stuff if you all are up for video. <laughs> On Sunday, we're going to do it. It wasn't on the schedule originally, but um, year, a few years ago, my friend and uh, a guy I work with, um, Kyle Jones, who's an uh, anime director, we did a movie, a live action movie called Gamera. And Gamera is a giant turtle. <laughs> and he's in the pantheon of giant Japanese monsters that destroy the city in order to save it. And uh, Gamera is a giant turtle. Thank you. This is Onya, my liaison. I'm having a big hand for her. She is, she has shown me all around Seattle. We went down to Pike's Place today and had crab. And well, I mean, I've got crabs now, but it's, it's, uh, no, we just had a delightful time, and she's an absolute joy. But uh, anyway, so we're doing this movie, and it's this live-action movie, and we did it. And then Kyle came up with the idea to do it as a bunch of East Texas rednecks. <laughs> so we dug the entire movie with lines like, that's my ass turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Things like that. So I think we're going to show it on Sunday. So just kind of keep your radar open. Uh, I promise you a laugh riot for 88 minutes. You will laugh until your spleen leaks. <laughs>
So you just do these lines. Anyway, there was this one line, and I, I looked at it, and I was like, oh, come on, you want me to say that really? And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, as it turns out, I found out the other day we were doing some uh, DLC stuff that I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about, but I just did, so there you go. <laughs> um, it was, oh, look at that little baby. I know he's under 18. <laughs>
<laughs> Still want to tell you a little blonde joke now, blind cowboy? Blind cowboy takes a sip of his beer. Well, not if I got to tell it five times. <laughs> what the voice 
does, but you also have to match what the lips do. And if you watch anime in Japanese, you know, they don't sync it up necessarily. So uh, American stuff, we try to really sync it up and make it look as close as possible. So you have to, sometimes you'll run into like wayward flaps. They're like, where did that, you know, what, I don't even know what they said. And uh, there was one in Welcome to the NHK where they, um, they go to this island, it's Suicide Island, and, and uh, our hero doesn't know that they're all there to commit suicide. She's just, he's just hot after this girl, the Tony. And um, they're there, and, and everyone's so down and depressed. They're just like, yeah, whatever. And he's talking to this one guy, and he's just a downer. And as he gets up, he just walks off, and then the shot is, the camera's looking this way, and um, I can't think of his name. Who's the hero? Sada. Sada, yeah. So he's sitting there, and, and this other guy's in the back, way back in the background, and he just bumps Sato out. And Sato walks up, and he, like, he goes, and there was no Japanese, there was nothing. It was just like, what the hell is that? <laughs> so we just ad lived it. And uh, Kyle Jones, um, actually, it wasn't Sato. Sato bummed the other guy out. That's what it was. And the other guy would go, but anyway. So we just came up with this line, and he goes, douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the shows that I directed are really some of my favorites. Those are the ones I really love to do. Yeah. Yes. Uh, first you, and then you. What was it like doing Gendo Akari? Yeah. Freaking awesome. <laughs> uh, Gendo is a, he's such a fun character. Um, and I actually, you know, I replaced another actor, uh, Tristan McCaffrey, who did the original. And uh, they wanted to replace him. So they, Matt Greenfield um, asked me, you know who Matt Greenfield is? Yeah. You know who Tiffany Grant is? Yeah. Yeah. Two awesome people. Let me tell you how awesome Seattle is. I'm down at Pike's Place today, sitting in a restaurant, having a beer, looking out over Puget Sound, and this waitress comes up to me and goes, how y'all doing? I'm oh, doing fine. She's like, you know, we started talking, and she goes, where are you from? I said, I'm from Houston. She goes, oh, I've got a sister that lives in Houston. I said, really? She goes, yeah, she does voice work. Her name is Tiffany Grant. <laughs> Luffy. 
One of my favorite bad guys is Gates from uh, Full Metal Panic. Yeah. Because he licks himself like a cat. <laughs> and uh, it was so much fun because I remember, uh, in fact, my demo, I have that on there, and he's, he's um, it's not funny, but it was. <laughs> he's, he's over the phone talking about how he's basically violating someone. And he says, oh, don't do that, oh, no, oh, she's begging for mercy, oh, look at her trip, oh, that's, oh, whatever it was, I mean, but it was just, it was really sick and twisted, and I, I loved it. <laughs> what is that? Oh, oh, man, I love these, yeah, how about you just give me the bag? <laughs> How do you apply to be a director? Like for you, when you're interested in directing a show, how do you, like, do you know about the show in advance? Are you approach saying, I'd like to do it, or do they come and approach you? Um, yes, that's a great question. When I was um, at ADV, I started at ADV in 1996, and um, I worked there for about four years as a voice actor. And then um, one day I just said, to myself, I was like, you know, I've watched these directors. This isn't rocket science. <laughs> and I'm not a rocket scientist. I can do this. So I asked them if they were looking to hire, and they were like, oh my god, yes. And this was actually at a, at a very critical point at ADV where, uh, I mean, it was, they were at their peak, and they could not, they had five studios running from nine in the morning till 10 o'clock at night, simultaneously, I mean, just like a factory. So they were looking for people. So I started directing, and then they were just giving me shows. Um, you didn't really get a chance to pick the shows. They, they would just hand you a show. And then you would, you know, do your research. Um, I'll tell you a great example is, uh, you know, Sergeant Frog? <laughs> Sergeant Frog started at ADV. I've got a copy of Sergeant Frog that no one in the world has because we recorded it one way that'll never get released <laughs> before Funimation got a hold of it. It's got, you know, Vic is the lead for his Kerro, and, and uh, I mean, it's just, it, that, that actually, that particular uh, show went through several um, gestation periods um, with different actors and, and whatnot. Um, so you don't, you don't really get a chance to pick your show. But when you do get a show, you want to do as much research as possible and, and uh, uh, learn about it as much as possible. Of course, you watch you know, um, dubs of it so you can understand what's going on and, and that kind of thing. And read as much on it as you can just so you know you're familiar with it.